Cassava is highly perishable, and after growing for up to 9 to 12 months, the tubers can spoil within just 4 days and are no longer fit to eat. Harvested tubers can deteriorate rapidly after mechanical damage or due to a physiological deterioration that causes vascular streaking. So, once out of the ground, getting the crop to market is a priority. Depending on the size of the crop, harvesting can take place by hand or via mechanized means. Generally, it is easier to harvest on damp soil than dry soil. About two weeks before harvesting, the plants should be cut back, removing most of the stems and leaves, leaving only 20 to 30 centimeters of the stem still attached to the roots in the ground. This allows the sugars in the tubers to be converted to starches and protects the cassava from rapid deterioration. Manual harvesting is very labor intensive and it takes quite a bit of skill and patience. The key is to not rock too vigorously to damage the tubers. Bruising and open wounds are pathways for entry of pathogens and oxygen. No special equipment is needed and since each plant is harvested individually, the tubers can remain in the ground until needed. Some farmers rely on mechanized harvesting and use special machines to get their crop out of the ground. Other farmers, though, have skillfully adapted their existing tractors to enable them to harvest mechanically. They can harvest up to 4 hectares a day. The main advantages of mechanical harvesting are less drudgery, fast and efficient work, and a reduction in cost. Cassava is one of the most difficult things to harvest in terms of manual labor. So I kind of designed a, a little piece of machinery to help pull out or dig out my cassava. And, but that, that, that machine does tend to work into the dry season. It really works too much into the wet. But I got the machine to actually, when you finish harvest, your land already plow. So you're ready to plant something else again right there. Once the tubers are harvested, damaged tubers should be separated and the tubers should be washed to remove excess soil. The tubers should be immersed in a chlorine dip of 100 ppm for 10 minutes to protect them from soil-borne pathogens. The cassava tubers should be packed into crates and covered with moist material. The crates protect the tubers from mechanical damage better than feed bags while the moist material reduces dehydration. In order to maximize the shelf life of cassava tubers, all efforts must be taken to reduce mechanical damage, protect the tubers from microbial attack, and prevent exposure to excess oxygen and dehydration.